Hello, this is Deborah with Black Education TV, and I have another story to share with you, family, that was shared with me by Sister Veronica. Thank you for sharing this story, Sister. Um, apparently, a manager calls a cop, calls the cops on a black couple who were already seated and ready to order because a white customer, which they called a regular, wanted their seat. And so the manager asked them to move to another location. And they said, oh, no, we're comfortable here. We're just going to go ahead and stay here. We don't want to move. And so at this point, the manager gets angry at them. The restaurant looks to be called Sembucca or something like that. I'm not really sure of, of how that is pronounced. Sembucca or Sambucha, Sambuca, <laughs> whatever it's called. It's spelled S-A-M-B-U-C-A. 360 and it's in Plano. Okay. And so the manager gets upset at this black couple. And he, be, he has an exchange where he's saying, uh, I want you all to leave. I'm going to call the police on you. Get up and leave. And uh, the guy is asking, what, what's going on? Why am I being asked to leave? And the manager states, because I don't like you. Now, mind you, he didn't realize who he was talking to. This is a very um, successful life coach. He's a very successful life coach. Very articulate, very proper speaking black man. But that did not matter to this manager when he asked the couple to leave because they wouldn't give their seat to a white man who wanted their seat. He says that he's going to call the police and say that they're trespassing. So now, what is the deal now? So all you have to do is call your private bouncers. That's what one police officer said. He said that we are not private bouncers. So, but now the white establishments, businesses are now saying that all we have to do is call the police and tell them you're trespassing. So at what point are we customers or that become trespassers when you don't want our presence. So are you saying that we can just go into any establishment? We're ready to pay money. But if you don't want us there, you can just say it's trespassing to get us removed. Again, we have a very loud and clear message here, family, a very loud and clear message where they're not writing it on the door anymore, but they're very clearly saying whites only. Remember, I shared an experience that my sister and I had when we were children, where we were walking down the street looking for a store to go and spend our little bit of money, a little bit of change we had in our pocket. And we look on one building and it said whites only. So now we're starting to see that again. But this way, but the way they're doing it now, they're saying, look, if I don't want you here, all I have to do is say, I don't like you. I feel threatened by you. You're creating a disturbance or nothing at all. Simply just say, I don't like you. And I'm going to call the police to have you removed for trespassing. Listen, black folk, your dollars, your money is trespassing on white business establishments. Stop trespassing your money. Stop trying to pass your money to people who are calling the police saying that you're trespassing for being on the premises because you won't go sit in the Negro in the Negro part of the restaurant. You know, they got separate seats for you. If someone wants your seat, you got to get up right. You know that, right? Remember Rosa Parks? Somebody wanted her seat. She refused to get up. She got arrested because they called their private bouncers. So they're doing that again. They are calling their private bouncers to come and have you removed if you don't do what they want, if you don't sit where they want you to sit, if you don't leave when they ask you to leave, or if they simply don't like you. But, oh, it's all in our heads. Don't you all see what's happening? These stories are flying in faster than you can report them. Flying in faster than you can report them. Where so-called white people don't want you around. 
You know how the Bible says, come ye out from among them and be ye separate. It's like they are actually using that scripture for themselves, that they want us to stay away from them. They're saying, look, we've got to come out from among these so-called black people and be ye separate. Because for this manager, they didn't say owner, they said manager. I wonder how the owner feels about his actions. Because these people are getting these companies in, in trouble. Not that they're in, in any real trouble, but it really seems like Starbucks may have paid those guys off to just let this thing blow over and go away. They didn't want the bad press. Waffle House, they don't seem to care one way or another. They just don't seem to care. Because incident after incident after incident keeps happening at the Waffle House. And I don't see anyone stepping up saying, look, if you're going to have the Waffle House name that you better wear it well and treat your customers right. When are we going to see that interview? If it's already taken place, so be it. But I haven't seen it. But I keep seeing Waffle House incidents. Now you have this Simbuka place or whatever it's called. Manager don't want the black customers to sit in a certain location because he wants to give it to one of his regulars, one of his white customers. That tells you right there that they consider us to be second class citizens, regardless to what your status is. Yep, second class citizens. But it is what it is, family. Not whining about it, just telling you about it because these things are t trying to teach you something. These occurrences are meant to be learning experiences. And the one thing that you should learn from all of this is to keep your money in your pocket and stop begging people for acceptance. Stop begging for acceptance and trying to be around people who don't want you around them. It's telling us that we need to start forming our own businesses and our own alliances. But, oh, I don't think that can happen either because we can't stand each other. A lot of so-called black people can't stand each other. And it's sad and sick, but it's true. All right, family. The boycotts must continue. But we know that's not going to happen either. With all the Waffle House incidents, you still got somebody banging on the door trying to get in. And I bet there was probably another black person sitting right up in Simbuka when they were telling this person to get out. I bet they sat right there and finished their food and wouldn't dare try to leave. It'll probably be back another day. That's just the way we roll. No type of dignity at, at all. Be treated like trash, but you're still begging for acceptance. All right, family, I'm out.